There has been highs and lows for the first day back. JCPS Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio talked to Haley Minogue at Fern Creek High School today about some of the success and some of the areas that need improvement. With 155 schools in the JCPS district, there are bound to be first day issues. As Fern Creek students work to find their correct classes, Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio dropped in on a few rooms to check on the first day. Fern Creek start time was bumped back to 840, giving the high schoolers more time to sleep, but causing some issues for parents who have younger students at other schools. They understand that it helps us like get more sleep and stuff, but at the end of the day, it's like we don't have as much time as we used to after school, and it just messes with their schedule because they both work. So trying to go to work and trying to get their kids to school is like a little bit of a struggle. When we had the opportunity to ask Dr. Polio questions about some of the changes, I asked about students who weren't scheduled to arrive until after the first bell and students who weren't scheduled to leave their school on a bus until up to 40 minutes after school ends. Well, first and foremost, after school, we had said that a lot of our buses 40 minutes was the window we gave alpha routes and so that's just a part of what we have to do because we have four or five different time periods where they're being bused uh, or being picked up on a bus so 40 minutes um, is the limit in which we want it we have some corrections to make on that and then start times you know we will clean that up they will all be there before the first bell those are just some of the things that have to be cleaned up as we go through. If problems persist, Dr. Polio says there are a few things you can do. Obviously, if they still continue to have problems, as you know, to make sure, number one, they reach out to their school. Number two, they call 485-RIDE. I know there's a lot of calls right now, but you know, that's going to lessen in the days to come. Now, something Dr. Polio said that you can do right now, parents, to make sure that you're doing everything you need to on your end is that if your address has a north, a south, an east, or west, when you're on Bus Finder, make sure everything is precise and exact and your bus stop might show up. In Louisville, I'm Haley Minogue, WHS 11 on your side. Dr. Polio told us today all bus issues should be fixed within two weeks. For how to reach out about persisting issues, find this story at whas11.com.